of this Solid Proof Design project and we were tasked over sort of three months to come up with a proof of concept using a Microsoft Connect, which is up there. Um, and basically the idea was to look at whether this is going to be a useful tool for tracking hand movements and specifically we're going to track finger movements. So I'm sure everyone's familiar with the Connect. you can track your body, uh, that's what the game is used for it. But actually tracking individual fingers is a uh, much more difficult problem. So that's what the project was about. And in particular, we had customers uh, for the project who were interested in uh, this solution for rehabilitation of stroke victims. So stroke patients often uh, have limitation in the movements of their limbs, particularly their hands. And so rehabilitation commonly involves uh, exercises where they will be getting them to do specific movements. And clinicians are interested in measuring those movements. So um, an automated system that can actually uh, look at the hands and detect the points and actually see what sort of angles those points are making uh, is really beneficial, particularly for patients where they don't want to go into the clinic themselves, perhaps they can do it from their own home. The connector is very small and cheap, so that's a sort of good application of it. Um, so essentially the project was to see if this is possible. So we took a connect, um, we made lots of software on the PC and um, it went pretty well. So our customers for this Connect for Rehabilitation project were Rokemana Research and Sara Domain from the University Health Sciences Department. The team members were myself, Adam Malpas, Tom Dell, Rebecca Robinson and Tristan Bogle and we were supervised by Cheryl Metka. If I put my hand under the Connect, the system then picks it up and we can begin to extract data from the system. So you can see here my hand in spread hand mode, rotating with the um, correct pitch and then also if I switch into the other mode, the pincer grip mode and they're automatically switching between the two modes as well. So we're able to transition and automatically detect all the required points in both modes of operation. Okay, So now I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of what our system can do. If I put my hand under the connect sensor here, you will see in the top window on the left an image being drawn, a line being drawn around the hand and then you can also see the coloured dots identifying all the different points that we've picked out. This is also then transferred to the avatar, which you can see in the main GUI window below. If I move my hands now, either rotating it or moving my individual fingers, you see the position on both of these windows moves accordingly, and it can detect where at all times my hand is doing. Uh, as you can see, we've got the Kinect up there, and that's why it's got a colour camera, we're using the depth image, where it's broadcasting a uh, pseudo-random array of uh, infrared dots, which it then processes to get the uh, depth information about objects you can see. So the user can then put their hand above the table or rest it on the table for analysis to be performed about the user's hand movements. Now this is why we this wanted to be done in the first place is in a clinical sense for uh, stroke patients. They have to do a lot of rehabilitation, especially in their hands, and this is very monotonous and it can be very demotivating for the patient to continuously do this day after day because they don't feel as if there's any particular sense of progression. We've worked together as a team before in previous years on group projects, uh, so this was helpful for being able to know what each other were capable of. Um, so we, we discussed with our customers what they would like for the uh, brief and um, then set realistic goals for what we thought we'd be able to achieve in a given time. It's fantastic to watch the project grow um, when things start to work, it's really good. And as you start to get towards the end of the project, um, we were certainly very clear about the goals that we want to achieve, our sort of key milestones. Um, so for us, uh, the project, we think we met our, our sort of major goals. We kind of ticked all the boxes and um, our customers are certainly very happy.